from Texas to the NFL to leading one of the most and leading one of the most unstoppable defenses in NFL history to going all the way out to Baltimore to leading that team to a possible championship. Nah, man, Earl Thomas is definitely elite. Everywhere he goes, he turns that defense into the best defense it can possibly be. And I think by simply the fact that adding just his, the addition of his presence makes a defense a Super Bowl level defense, that's I consider Earl Thomas elite. Um, how you guys doing? It is July 18th, 2020 out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims. And without further ado, I'm going to get into this episode of The Elite. And this profile is on Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas is a 31-year-old free safety who is now playing for the Baltimore Ravens. After And, and this is a man whose career has led him to almost getting a taste of the national championship in college but he still we still won a championship in his career as one of the main as one of the main contributors and i would make the argument that since that championship earl thomas to me is the only player that was a, mem- a member of that legion of doom that's still elite right now but just to give you a little bit of background of course he grew up in orange texas a uh, five foot ten guy, two hundred and two pounds, and if you see him play, you'll see that this guy is one of the be- he's pound for pound one of the best athletes in football. He's incredibly fast. He's really smart. He plays free safety, and as the best free safety in football, I mean, he's he's he he just shows game after game like why he is the way where he is. He reads offenses better. He you can tell he studies his you can t- you can tell he studies offenses. Um, he knows how to keep his defense in line. He works as a he works as a captain from the free safety position, and his simple his simply adding him to Baltimore made them the best team in the AFC at least in the regular season this year. So. He went to go play college football at Texas. In his senior season at Texas, the Texas Longhorns went undefeated in the regular season, only to lose to Alabama in the national championship under Mack Brown in 2009. But yeah, that season, Earl Thomas was named to the first team All-Big 12 team. He was also named a consensus All-American and following that year, he was named, or I guess he was a good enough prospect to be Taken with the 14th overall pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, and he was drafted by the Seattle Seahawks. And from then on, he was to start his career uh, in 2010 for uh, with them. His first season, um, he went on to start all 16 of the games that he played in. He finished with five interceptions, seven passes defended, along with 76 total tackles on the season. As the Seahawks ended up finishing first in the West with a 7-9 record, they would beat the Saints in the playoffs by five, but they would lose to the Bears in the divisional playoffs. And I mean, this was Earl Thomas's first season in the league, and many more, many more good years from that would come. And in 2011, his age 22 season, he was named to a Pro Bowl as the Seahawks finished with a 7-9 record. Yet again, finishing third in the NFC East that year. Earl Thomas would finish starting all 16 of the games. He would finish with two interceptions on the season, seven passes defended yet again. But he would finish with 98 combined tackles as a free safety at 22 years old. Um, that year, the Seahawks would, yeah, like I said, they would, they would make the playoffs. But Earl Thomas, within his first two years, he'd established himself as at least one of the league's best safeties to be named a pro bowler as a safety. His age 23 season, he was named a first team all pro safety as the Seahawks would go on and finish with an 11 and 5 record and finish second in the NFC West. They would go on to lose, beat the Redskins in the wild card and lose to the Falcons by two in the divisional playoff round. And that year, Earl Thomas, well, like I said, would earn the Pro Bowl by starting all 16 games. He finished with three picks, one of which ran for a touchdown. He forced a fumble. He would finish with 66 total tackles on the year. And he would he would solidify himself as one of the league's best. If not, if he wasn't the league's best safety, he was the other best safety, considering he was named to the first team by the end of his age 23 season. So by the age of 24, he knows that within within the first he was a pro bowler for the first for two of the first three years of his career. 
And by his age 24 season, he knows that he is, if not the best, the second best safety in football. So leading into the 2013 season, his age 24 season, he went on to start all 16 games for the Seattle Seahawks as they went on to win the, they went on to have the best record in the NFC. They would go on to beat the Saints by eight in the divisional playoffs. They would go on to beat the 49ers in the NFC Championship. They would go on to beat the Broncos four. 43 to 8 in Super Bowl 48 and with Malcolm Smith be the Super Bowl MVP. That was the same year. That was the year that the Legion of Boom was definitely at the top of their game and the Seahawks when they lost there were really good games that they lost. That year Earl Thomas locked up yet another first team all the first team selection as one of the two best safeties in all of football. Um he was also named a Pro Bowler for the third year in a row and the third time in his four-year career. He finished the season with five interceptions on the season. He finished with 105 combined tackles on the season, his most tackles in a season to date, two forced fumbles on the year. And this was probably the best season he had played up until that date. And at that point, he was one of the league's best defenders. And he, at that point, he had a Super Bowl under his belt. And that was by the time he turned 25. Like, by the time he turned 25, he was a Super Bowl champion and already recognized as the best player, if not the second best player, in his position. Like, that's, that, that, that's where he was by this, by this point. By 25, his age, by 2014, his age 25 season, he was to start all 16 games for the Seahawks as they were to go on and finish first in the NFC with the 12-4 and record. They would beat the Panthers and the Packers in the playoffs and go on to lose to the Patriots in Super Bowl 49, where Russell Westbrook, Russell, Will, Russell Wilson threw, a, threw an interception on the last play of the game. And they were one play away, a, a handoff to Marshawn Lynch away from being back-to-back -back champions. And, of course, the Legion of Boom was at the top of their game. Earl Thomas playing defense for the Seattle Seahawks. He put up in the, in the 16 games he played, he finished one interception on the season. He finished with five defended passes on the season, four forced fumbles, 97 combined tackles. And once again, for the third year in a row, he was recognized as the best safety in all of football on the best defense. And in 2015, the he would go on to play all 16 games for the Seattle Seahawks as they finished the season with a 10 and 6 record beating the Vikings in the wild card and then losing to the Panthers as the as the legion of boom and as that defense started to kind of wither but they were still one of the best teams in all of football and they still had Russell Wilson at quarterback but they still fin they finished with a 10 and 6 record Earl Thomas that season would play all 16 games finishing with five interceptions he would finish the season with nine passes defended, a forced fumble, 64 total tackles on the season. He was named a Pro Bowler for the fifth year in a row, and for and that the, and within his first six year within his first six years of the league. But he was no longer named an All Pro. He was he was no longer recognized as one of the top two safeties in all of football. But he was still uh, he was still a Pro Bowler, an elite and an elite one at that. As the Seattle Seahawks were no longer the best defense in football. People started to recognize him less and less, but he was still the elite player that he was. Going on to his age 27 season, in which he didn't make a Pro Bowl, as he started in 11 games that season, finishing with two interceptions, um, a, a fumble recovery touchdown, and 48 combined tackles on the season, as the Seahawks finished with a 10-5-1 record, winning the NFC West. They ended up being the Lions in the first round and losing to the Falcons in the divisional playoffs. The, the Falcons went off. In 2017, Earl Thomas would come back and earn another Pro Bowl appearance. This would be his sixth in seven seasons and his in, in his eight in his eight year career. He would play 14 games uh, with two interceptions on the season, uh, one of them being a pick six, 88 combined tackles on the season as the Seahawks would finish with a nine and seven record, finishing second in the NFC West. But I mean, ever, other than his other than his rookie year, up until that point, every year he's played, he's been a Pro Bowl. The only time he didn't, he played eleven games. So I mean, he's he every year that he plays, he's recognized as one of the league's best safeties, if not the top safety in the league. 
The very next year in 2018, he would only start in four of the games as he was as he was dealing with injury, as he hurt his knee, as I believe, right before his contract season. He finished with 22 combined tackles in those four games, three interceptions. He was still rated as the league's best safety at the time. The Seahawks finished that year 11. They finished at 10 and six, losing to the Cowboys in the first round of the playoffs. But Earl Thomas. From this, from the time that he started winning Pro Bowls up until that moment, he was still the, one of the top safeties in all of football. And had he played the full, and up until that moment, he was still rated as the best safety in all of football. Leading into this most recent season with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, he would go on to start fifteen of the games that he played, or all all fifteen of the games that he played in, as the Ravens would finish with a fourteen and two record, winning the AFC North, the best record that 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 Errol Thomas has ever had on a team, and he played with the Seattle Seahawks. By the way, he played with Russell Wilson, a whole other elite quarterback. Um, and, and in those games he played, he, he racked up two interceptions, four passes defended, a forced fumble, 49 total tackles on the season, basically r- helping run that Baltimore defense that became the best team, that became the best defense in the league. He was named to yet another Pro Bowl. And at that point in the six full seasons, he's pl- the seven full seasons he's played, except for his rookie year, he was named a Pro Bowler. The other, he's played in two seasons in which he didn't finish the season, one of which he played 11 and the other one in which he played four. But he came back immediately immediately the next year and was a pro bowler, showing me that every single full year he's been, he's been a pro bowler. So looking at him now, it, look, looking at Earl Thomas's career, he is a 31-year-old safety who consi- who hasn't fallen off from the top, is still one of the top safeties in all of football. He's been with the Ravens for one year, and the one year he's been there, they jumped from a 10-6 and six team to a 14-2 and two team, showing that, his, showing that his presence does a lot for that, for, for that football team, and he was still a Pro Bowl safety. I, imagine, I know they have other players on their depth chart as of right now. They still have Calais Campbell on their offensive line. They still have Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters at corner on the, Ra- on, on the Ravens. Like They're still an elite defense. All I'm saying is this team goes as Earl Thomas goes. And just for that simple reason, Earl Thomas, I consider him elite. I believe Earl Thomas is as elite as they come as a safety. To me, he would have to win maybe a couple of defensive player of the years for me to consider him a GOAT. But for now, I still think he's an elite player who will eventually see hear his name called in the Hall of Fame one day. Without further ado, I appreciate you guys for listening to all 12 and a half minutes of this. Um, if you ever get a chance, check out my boy Earl Thomas. He wears 29. He's the starting safety for the Baltimore Ravens. And with all that said, I said my piece. Peace out.